everyone, and congratulations on your graduation. It's great to be able to celebrate this with you uh, because it's been a pleasure to be able to journey with you, whether it be through a, a course work to, that we've done together, uh, helping with uh, finding placements and, and working through the placement in ministry formation, or even getting to serve on your supervisory committee in your doctoral program. It's been a great uh, privilege to be able to do that and share those things with you. And I just wish you all the best and God's blessing as you go forward from here. Congratulations, class of 2020 and class of 2021. I wish I can say this to you face to face here at the college. Most of you do not have a chance to come inside this new building since I guess the dedication service almost a year ago now. Most of you do not have a chance to hang out with your MDC community for the past 12 to 15 months. But I want you to remember that uh, the community that you built over the last few years have not disappeared. We are still here. The community is still here for you. Graduation class of 2020 and 2021. I want to congratulate you on your graduation success. I want to join my colleagues at McMaster Divinity College in offering really warm congratulations to the double graduating class of 2020 and 2021. It is a very long list, and it's been a delight to look down that list and see the names of so many people whom I've had in class, and many of you I've gotten to know personally over the course of the last several years. I want to add my congratulations to all of you who have completed your degrees in 2020 or 2021. None of us really knows all that you went through to get here, but we do know that you have accomplished something important. It involved sacrifices, a lot of hard work, and maybe even a few miracles. We celebrate all of this with you, and we want to say great job and wish you God's richest blessing on your life and ministry. Congratulations to all of you. It's been a real privilege and a pleasure to teach you and also to learn with you over these past years. As you keep learning in the rest of your life, remember to be open to surprise and remember to be open to the voices of others. And above all, remember to maintain these postures when dealing with the Bible. It is, after all, the voice of another, and in the end, it very often surprises. God bless. Uh, best wishes to you all. Congratulations, graduates. For those of you who are members of the class of 2020, myself included, today has been a long time coming, and so it's wonderful that we finally get to cross the finish line together. For those of you who are members of the class of 2021, this year has presented some extraordinary challenges. But you didn't give up. Finishing your programs in the midst of a global pandemic is a testament to your perseverance in pursuing the call that God has put on your lives. And so we celebrate that with you today. Graduates, this is an exciting day, but you must celebrate appropriately. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate you on the achievement of a very important milestone. You have now created more opportunities and potential for your place in ministry. It may seem like it has been a very long journey for you, but for me it has been an opportunity to develop some very special friendships that I will always treasure. May the Lord bless you and keep you in your every endeavor. Well, congratulations on completing your degrees and you have the added distinction of being the first McMaster Divinity College class that has graduated in a global pandemic so so that's quite a distinction and hopefully it's not a distinction that any graduates ever have to face again but you have done it so congratulations and the Lord bless you in your ongoing ministry plans for the future. I want to give my congratulations to the graduates of 2021. It has been a real honor working with you. I have really missed not seeing you this year, but here you are, here we are. You have fought the good fight and you have finished the race. Well done. I would like to congratulate the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021 on reaching the end of this stage of your journey. In my mind, each of you are champions. Next, we celebrate the many symbolic new starts that come with graduation. 
Although some of you will continue in positions you have held for some time, it may be with a fresh sense of vision or purpose or direction. Others, however, may yet be discerning your next step in life. My prayer for all of you are these words of benediction. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, and God bless you all. Hello, graduates of 2020 and 2021. I would like to congratulate you on the successful completion of your programs and acknowledge all your hard work and your dedication. As you set out on the next stage of your life journey, may you be guided and blessed as you bring Christ's love to those around you, whatever your field of endeavor. We are all co-workers in God's service. May you serve with joy, compassion, and sincerity. As Colossians says, may God fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. May God's grace and peace go with you all. Of course, you'll be most conscious of your own hard work and how difficult it's been to get this far and how what a sense of accomplishment you must have to have achieved this goal. At the same time, I hope you'll remember that this is also Christ's work in you, that he has been inspiring you and sustaining you and will continue to lead you in the days ahead to put to work that all the good things that you've learned, all of the lessons, both in your relationships with others and in the classwork itself, all the things you've learned while you've been part of this community. We hope to see more of you in future, but for the meantime, congratulations, please celebrate, and may God's richest blessings go with you. I'll leave you with the words of the sage from Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. God bless and congratulations. I want you to remember those whom you have met here at MBC, those who you journeyed with uh, over the past few years, those whom you bounce idea with, those you pray for or pray together or worship together here at the chapel. Remember those who lift you up when you thought you couldn't possibly go on. Remember those who want to help you to fulfill your callings to the fullness. Remember those people God puts around you in your journey here at MBC. Those who talk to you, those who pray with you, those who study with you, those who argue with you, and those who memorize Greek vocabularies with you. They are still here and we are still here for you. I'm sure one day the door will be open very soon and we'll celebrate your achievement in person. We'll have conversations in the offices, we have conversation and prayer in the chapel, down the hallway, in the classrooms, and in the study room. Remember, your family at MDC is still here for you. And once again, from the bottom of my heart, congratulations. With my faculty colleagues, I want to add my congratulations to you, our 2020 and 2021 graduates, on your success in your academic programs. We look forward to celebrating with you at our convocation ceremony next week and hope that you and your families will take the opportunity to join us where you are for this special event.